traditional societies and vulnerable communities around the world are safer today than they were in years past. For years, the global health community has been predicting that there would be an influenza pandemic. The idea behind the H2P project was to help vulnerable communities around the world and Red Cross and Red Crescent societies prepare for the inevitable. Being ready meant having trained community leaders and trained first responders in the most vulnerable communities around the world. We were ready for an outbreak before it happened. We developed the Best Defense is You campaign, a generic set of material that national societies adapted in over 90 countries around the world. helped Kenya Red Cross, for example, to reach out to some areas which have never been reached previously. In Marigat, we tried to, go, to use the local administration, the chiefs, through the community health barrazas, where we meet and discuss health matters of, the, of each site. That success at community level can be seen very well. We have a, a strategy, or we call it door-to-door -door campaign. We have integrated with the uh, Minister of Health to ensure that we are able to reach house to house and pass the information to the household members. Our auxiliary status to governments gave us access to government plans and the opportunity to integrate a community response into national plans. More than 50 countries have developed or tested or are in the process of developing comprehensive community-based plans. On peut dire que vraiment au niveau de la Croix-Rouge sénégalaise et au niveau du projet au Sénégal, ce qui a fait notre réussite, c'est l'intégration du programme avec le gouvernement. Quand il y a une pandémie, les manifestations ne sont pas recommandées. Néanmoins, euh, comme il existe des manifestations, surtout religieuses, au Sénégal, où les gens se retrouvent des millions et des millions de pèlerins, nous avons mobilisé 320 volontaires. Et dans le cadre de ces activités, nos volontaires ont eu à mener des activités de plaidoyer. C'est-à-dire ils sont allés voir les chefs religieux pour discuter avec eux euh, sur la pandémie, pour qu'ils soient des relais au niveau de la communauté. Ensuite, les volontaires ont fait des distributions d'affiches. Ils ont participé aussi aux entretiens individuels avec la population. Et puis ils ont fait des causeries avec les groupes de, de personnes pour discuter par rapport aux messages de prévention. En plus de ça, l'autre stratégie, c'est la communication euh, par les masses médias. C'est-à-dire qu'au niveau du projet, on a un grand volet communication. Parce que pour déjà disséminer les activités du projet, mais ensuite pour disséminer surtout les messages de prévention. We're also trying to uh, bring the message of the campaign and we're also trying to target uh, vulnerable people. These can be, for example, victims of human trafficking. Uh, these can be drug users or these can be homeless. we went to as a population of 3,030. It is overpopulated. They are very vulnerable to the spread of viral infections. That's why the school was hit hard by the H1N1 outbreak late last year. Schools therefore became our target. National societies figured out different ways to deliver messages that were most appropriate for that organization in that community. <laughs> Also, in Belarus, there is this unique Belarus Red, 
Railway Red Cross branch, uh, which basically duplicates uh, the Belarus Red Cross network in the country. When people go from subway to the train station with their bags, they see it. It's right there in their face. Every train has a radio, its own internal radio. The conductor will say the message, the microphone, and that will be heard on the radio by the passengers. There are some trains with the video when people just, the passengers sit and watch the movie. This message is now part of us. Our response system is ready. We have a pool of trained volunteers. If there is an outbreak, say for example today, I will get a call immediately from the ministry, or it's me to call the ministry, that this has happened. And our joint effort to respond, to mobilize, sensitize, quarantine, isolate, and refer, are very clear. But the work is not finished. These tools and materials can be mainstreamed and applied to serve broader health issues and a more general disaster risk reduction strategy. We have to continue training people. We have to finalize our country plans and help national societies do it where it hasn't yet been done. There are other diseases yet unknown that will continue to emerge and humanity and the Red Cross and Red Crescent must be prepared.